warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My dear student of year 5, I miss you so much and I hope all of you are in the best health. Our lesson today, today, 12 May 2020, and our lesson will discover its, its title together. Look to these pictures and try to answer what do these boys do? Those boys are giving this some money and this, I think this food for this poor person. So what we call this act, think, charity, very good. So our lesson today will be about charity, wonderful. What do you see in these pictures? And from which organization and country those who give it for needy? Yes, think. One, two, three. Okay. Now you can see some people from, as you see here, what this for for which country and you can notice this more in here yes very good this is these are emirates people from which organization as you see here here in this sign here UAE Red Crescent. This is charitable organization. Its name UAE Red Crescent and is cared by giving charitable things for poor and needy, not only in UAE but also around the world. And we thank the government. Of, of UAE and all sheikhs of UAE for this good act is the doing for helping the poor and needy around the world. So our lesson today's name in the shade of my charity, in the shade of my charity. And our learning objectives will be define the charity, the, the meaning of charity, list the types of charities, include the virtues of charity, and I can pay by the manners of charity, and I can define the areas of charity. Let's go. In this video, I hope to watch this video on PowerPoint, which I sent yesterday. So I hope to watch this video and try to answer the following question. What do you learn from this video? Because only our lesson, this is only explaining for our lesson. And this will, talk, will take more time. So we'll pass this video. And I hope to watch this in PowerPoint. This to link our lesson with the previous lesson. The previous lesson, do you know what the name of our previous lesson? Think the lesson before this lesson. What was its name? Yes, wonderful. About fasting. So Try to answer this to link our lesson with the previous lesson. What is the fourth pillar? 
في بيلار اوف اسلام ان ويتش مانث مسلمز دو فاست وين الله جلوري بي تو هيم امبوست اون مسلمز فاست هاو دو مسلمز فاست اند وات ار ذا بينيفيتس اوف فاستينج The first of our learning objectives will be what the meaning of charity define, definition, definition means the concept, the meaning of charity. What the meaning of a charity in your opinion? Think, three seconds to think. Yes. Very good. And these are the collection for your answers. Giving money, giving gifts, or sharing anything for others for the sake of Allah. This is the meaning of charity. Giving money, gifts, or sharing anything for with others for the sake of Allah. Okay. Okay, let's go to the second learning objectives. For whom charities are given? Which, which people we give them or we help them? Which people we give them charity? Think, I will hide this for three seconds and think. Yes, poor, needy, very good, orphans, yeah, those are the people which we give them our charity, poor, needy, orphans, widows, workers, or any charitable organization yeah do you know what the meaning of orphans a challenge a question what the meaning of orphan and what the meaning of fetus for a needy and workers and charitable organization all these are easy so but this our vocabulary we need to know its meaning hmm? the rule of three seconds to think the meaning one Two, three. Yes, the answer is orphans. This, the person who his father die. Orphan, who the person that his father die. We call him orphan. And the widows, this woman which her husband, husband die. The woman with her husband die, we call her widow. Okay. Now, okay, let's go to the third learning objectives types of charity. Do you know hmm, the rule of three seconds to think? How many types of charity think? One, two, three. Okay, answer. Yes, types of charity. There are two types of charity. Compulsory charity and voluntary charity. Compulsory charity, like the care. The care, this is which the money which we give to poor and needy and do you know the percent of this money which we should give to poor and needy yes this 2.5 for 100 percentage from our income after one year pass and if this money and here we will need to complete if this money
is more than 11,000 dirhams. And uh, this means, so this not for not for you as a children, not, not for you. This is for the parents who have money and this money more than 11,000 and pass one year for this money and I keep this money with me for one year without use. Look to this important thing. I have 11,000 and this money I kept with me without using. I didn't use this money because if the money not much 11,000, not I cannot pay the care. And if I have this money 11,000 or more and this money uh, not fresh to not pass on this money kept uh, keeping with me for one uh, one year i cannot pay the care so the two condition to pay the care this limit 2.5 for my income if i work as a teacher example for me or in one work any doctors engineer any 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 anyone Example for me, if if I am in the end of this year, 2020, in the end of this year, I looked to my money, I looked to my money, and I found this. I found I have example, uh, uh, fifty thousand or uh, or one million as as. And this money I didn't use. Yeah, and this is after. This is. Uh, uh, no, not using, yeah, and I use for my um, uh, my, uh, my uh, uh, stuff so for and for my uh, house uh, and for my uh, learning my children and for uh, for uh, buying uh, in, in, in anything is, and I after this I used for my 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 own stuffs, my life stuffs. And after this, after this uh, paying or using this money, I found I uh, I have fifty thousand dirham. So, and this is money uh, with me. Pass uh, on this money with me for one year. I should to pay from this money two point five percent from this money. I should to collect to account down this. Count this percent. How much will be two point two point five uh, a percent of a percentage from fifty thousand count and the number which I uh, will be uh, will become I should to be for poor and needy. Okay. So this is the first first branch for from the compulsory charities and the second the cattle fetter uh, what do you know the meaning of the cattle fetter three seconds to think one two three okay yes very good the cattle fat this is the cat i pay it for the poor and needy in Yes, the same month of that we are now in eighth month of Ramadan. In the uh, month of Ramadan, I should to pay. This is the cat. This is called the cat fit. Do you know why for we do we do this the cat? Why we pay this the cat? Or how how can how could we uh, uh, pay this the cat? Think one. Two, three, yes, wonderful. We pay the zakah in Ramadan, and we count this. Do you know how you we count this zakah? We count this zakah as uh, for the how many person we we uh, how many person in our family. 
and if we examples if we are five and there is limit for this the care the government uh, it is only responsible to uh, to uh, to uh, told us what the limit for this the care the caterpillar it change is this is change according to the uh, uh, life uh, uh, lifetimes okay so I, and I think uh, maybe this year, uh, maybe this uh, this year, uh, maybe it will be like uh, 15, 15 dirham or twenty dirham, around fifteen or twenty dirham, twenty dirham for each person, for each person. I I think I read this before on a uh, uh, magazine or internet. Uh, uh, the government of UAE, she uh, bought the limit for uh, the cattle fat for this year, maybe I think for uh, from 15 to uh, 20 uh, dirham for each person. So if you are five in, uh, 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 person in your family, you should to pay for each one would be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So 20 of, uh, uh, of five multiply. Multiply uh, five will be one hundred dirham for um, of your family. This is the care for your family. From your family to Allah, uh, uh, protect you and take care of you and your family. Okay. So this is the second branch of compulsory charity, and the third one is from compulsory charity is charity of you. And this is challenging question. So search about what the meaning of charity of you and who will uh, send it to me the answer. I will add it to do you for him or her. Okay. The second type of charity is voluntary charities. We finish from compulsory. Compulsory. Do you know the meaning? Ah, uh, this is. Uh, we need to uh, know the meaning of compulsory. What's the meaning of compulsory? One, two, three. Yes, compulsory. It is mean must to do, must to pay. Zakat, zakat, zakat ul fit and charity of you. Okay. So and this is, as you see, voluntary charity. The second part of charity is. Voluntary charity. What's the meaning of voluntary? One, two, three. Yeah, voluntary mean option. I have option to do this or not. Yeah, and there is no punishment. This is if I did not pay these compulsory charities, Allah will be angry and I will get bad deeds. Okay, and this type is voluntary, is option, and I can do or not. And if I do, I will take more good deeds from Allah, and Allah will place our money, our our wealth, like ah, as you see in this picture, ah, when you give some money and put to the workers in the street or the board or need you or anyone or or in this secret crescent of UAE like this or you help anyone uh, anyone uh, uh, in the road by giving up food or drinks or anything this is we call this voluntary charity and Allah will love you protect uh, and take care of you and give you good deeds and this will help you to enter paradise Insha'Allah, and this, all these types of charity, the reward, we will know more about the benefits of charity as we'll coming. This is give you good deeds and protect you from the hell and help you to enter paradise, Insha'Allah. So I hope all of you to uh, uh, know and obey this uh, zakah or uh, give this zakah as this uh, types of charity for poor and needy as you can. The next 
of our learning objectives, the benefits of our purpose of charity. Uh, three seconds to think. Uh, what the benefits are we see uh, as you as we understand as we learning learn he, learning here? What the benefits or virtues of charity? Three seconds to think. Three seconds. One, two, three. Okay. So the benefits of charity purify our selves from selfishness. Purify ourselves from stingness, protect ourselves from hellfire, and help you to enter paradise. It wipes away sins, forgive our sins, and to get Allah's favor bestowed upon us, to get blessing and growth for wealth when you pay money for others. Don't think that this is uh, decrease your money. No. This is will increase your money. Allah will increase your money because Allah say in the Quran, وَأَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ يُوَفَّ إِلَيْكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ يُوَفَّ إِلَيْكُمْ What you pay, what you give to poor and needy, Allah will give you more and more. So don't think when you pay or give, this is decrease. No, but Allah decrease. Allah will increase your wealth and your money. And the last and the last thing here for uh, benefits of charity to get the granted sheds of Allah on the day of judgment and this mean in the day of judgment the sun will be nearest from each one and who give charity this will be in the shed of Allah the sun not yani will be covered from the lies of of the sun okay so here, challenge a question. What's the relation between the plant and the charity, as you understand from this picture? Three, sec three seconds to think. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. The relation between the plant and charity is grows and increase as when you water the plant it grows so also when you give charity to poor and needy allah will place your your wealth your health and also this act helping to reviving the poor who you give you help him to stay alive because if you if nobody help this this uh, poor and needy they will die yeah so when you help them we kept them alive and this good act and Allah will love us and give us good deeds and bless our wealth here I need to answer this by yourself this activity define the term of charity explain the reason behind paying a charity Identify those to whom charities are given, count the types of charity, what are the benefits of giving a charity. Try to answer this question. And if you have any difficult to answer anyone, try to repeat it our video again. Here, manners of a charity, manners of charity. First one, charity should be given only for the sake of Allah. When you give, you should to pay for the sake of Allah, not for people say it on you, you oh, this is a charitable person. No, this is haram to, to pay or to give to the people for the sake of the people. No, you should to pay for the sake of Allah. The second, don't hurt feelings of poor. When you give to this poor and needy, don't hurt their feeling by saying like this, oh, come, come. Come to here. I will give you 
money come here no this is haram or you uh, so you remember you remember you remember i i gave you i give you money uh, uh, 10 dirhams yesterday no also this act is haram don't hurt the feelings of poor and allah say if you do this this is nullify nullify our reward and you will not take reward from allah if you hurt the feelings of the poor by by doing this allah saying quran yeah ayyuha alladheena amanu la tubtilu sadaqatukum bil manni wal adha don't nullify don't your charity by hurt the poor and needy by by bad actors like that like what i explained before number three charity should be in secret better for charity should be in secret not in front of the people also this we should to take care by this thing should to to be the cat in secret uh but if i bathe uh, and yeah, i i i walked in the street and i found the uh, worker or any poor person and i give him okay but not enter in your heart you you do this uh, to uh, people to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, said about you oh this man is a uh, charitable but no in your heart you should do this act for the sake of allah and without any any uh, any bad feeling or or you uh, to do this for the sake of person uh, for the sake of uh, the people okay so better for charity to be in secret okay not not and not the clause in public the fourth of manners of charity spend from that which you love you should to give from the kind of money you have if you pay you love money you should to pay money if you uh, if you uh, if you love uh, clothes to wear a uh, good uh, uh, beautiful uh, or nice clothes you should to get you should to uh, give charity by any uh, give a uh, chair or uh, paint or or any for uh, clothes for the poor and needy so this is the meaning you should to give charity from which type of money you love okay and allah says also in the quran here لن تنالوا البر اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لن تنالوا البر حتى تنفقوا مما تحبون يعني this mean you will get you will not get the reward or the benefits of charity even you give from which you love more from money and here uh, this activity i think i need to answer this activity and send the answer in classroom and also this define the areas of charity this is another areas for charity okay so charity not only by giving money or clothes or or gifts or anything this is another areas for giving charity as you see in this because charts like examples are smiling when you smile this is when you smile for the face of your uh, classmates allah you this is like charity as the prophet said smiling in the face of your uh, of your uh, of your brother in islam like a charity and you will get also good deeds uh, and you will complete like this uh, this is sharing a uh, is my is uh, water and this is also charity and try to complete and answer the uh, other areas of charity from the rest of these pictures here this uh, hadith and this more hadith is about charity 
Uh, we said more hadiths. I will only read one. Wealth does not uh, diminish by giving sadaqa. Uh, and I will read the others. Save yourself from hellfire even with half uh, a dead. And save yourself from hellfire. <clears throat> Sorry. If you or even you if you give to someone half of dead, half, you know dead, dead, yeah, tamra. If you give half of dead, this is, will be like a charity, and this is act may be help protect you from the hellfire. And the third hadith, charity wipes away sins as well, water extinguishes fire. Also, charity is forgive our sins, and this verse uh, the verse out of the name of Shaitan al Rajim. Matalulladin yunfikuna amwalahum fi sabilillahi kamatali habba kamatali habba tin ambatat saba sana bila fi kulisum bulletin mea to habba. Wallahu yudah i fully may yesha. Wallahu wasi on Ali. And try to read the translation for this verse at home. And here list some names of charitable Emirates organization. Think some names of charitable Emirates organization. See second one, two, three. And these are these are the some names of charitable organization. Red Crescent. Muhammad, Muhammad bin Rashid, Al Maktoum Knowledge Foundation. This Emirates charity. This is Sharjah charity, charity International, International, and this is Dubai Charity Association, and this is Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Foundation. Bilani uh, try to answer these question, these questions. Sorry, and uh, this is challenge. Uh, Question mention a hadith or verse which shows the reward of giving charity. And I I said more hadiths and Quran, and you will see in this PowerPoint and this video more of hadiths and Quran's verses, Quranic verses talk about the reward of uh, charity and this mentioning Siberians. This is do this in your home. Write a report of you at Crescent with regards to disturb, distributing distributing charities to the poor and needy and present in class, present it in class. And this link is write the Arabic word of charity and uh, with life, how could you help poor and needy in months of Ramadan? And with you, what is the role of Emirates charities in giving charity? And our resources was Islamic book, YouTube, Kishas, PowerPoint, and the internet. And this is our the last thing. Our your homework would be answers to this activity page 120 to 123. And we reach to the end of our lesson. I hope you understand, and I hope you take care by yourself and your family. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.